MTV Sugar presents 16 and Pregnant. So soon. <laughs> this time set in and around Johannesburg. Your body's not fully developed. Three girls are about to become teenage mothers. <laughs> Our relationship will never be the same, okay? How will these teens deal with early motherhood? and lives in Rockville, Soweto. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, Tato. Her parents divorced a few years ago, but she's still close to her dad. She lives with her strong-willed mother and her great-grandmother. Fine, coming to see Granny. I missed you a lot. Tato is a typical teenager who likes nothing more than to dress up, dance and party with her big circle of friends. This year, she fell hopelessly in love with an older guy called Muketi. One night, she snuck out of her mother's house to party with him. That night, they had unprotected sex. Tato loves Muketi, but she doesn't know if she can trust him now that they've discovered they are going to be parents. She is 16 and pregnant. So you like complaining when I told you not to play with boys, you decided to do it. Let's throw the washing baby down. We have many stains, I can't do it. No, who's supposed to do it if you don't do it? Who's supposed to do it? Because you will be washing for your baby, so you must start learning now. Keep on washing, I'm coming. My mother, Zandi, is very bossy and strict but we are very close. She's very supportive. Okay, whilst you're still soaking it in, let's go and get out the primer. You can remove it also. Bridges! Come, come and help me, please. I need to take out this primer here. Just stand that side, Tato. Yeah, it also needs to be washed, eh? Yeah. I think this one is better. It's better than the other one. one. I prefer this one because yeah. it's big and it's nice. It's big and it's nice. Yes. So you better wash this one. Clean. Mm -hmm. You can wash it clean and that dish also. Mkanza is 16 and lives in Kalinan, a mining town where the biggest diamond in the world was found. Mkanza lives with her older brother and her grandparents. She doesn't live with her mother, but her mother is the closest person in her life. Mkanza loves animals and wants to be a vet one day. I think it's some biases. Ntlantla's best friend is Yolanda. They grew up together and have been close for most of their lives. They study together and tell each other all their dreams for the future. This year, Ntlantla fell in love with an older man and they had a sexual relationship. After skipping her period, a local clinic confirmed that she's 16 and pregnant. At the clinic, they also tested me for HIV and AIDS and told me that I'm HIV positive. At first, I could not believe the test results. I told my boyfriend, but he said it can't be true. We said goodbye from the last Ntlantla is very emotional since she broke up with the baby daddy. 
Her older brother Nati and her are very close and he understands her situation as he knows the baby daddy well. Because of now I wanna be pregnant. What do you see in future? Sasa I don't want him to be part of my life again. Yeah. Um I, I, I can't focus. Yeah. Because I'm always being stressed about him. Yeah. This is the best option, I think. Yeah. Because I've got a lot of things now. I'm not living my life for me only. Yeah. For the best of me and, and me. my child. Yeah, it's Just for the best, okay. I guess. But don't worry, Lord. We will be feminine and we will make sure that we support the baby and the person. Thank you. Yeah. I know. Don't worry. Vanele is 16. She lives in Clip Town, Soweto. She loves spending time with her friends. And after finishing school, she wants to become famous. Her mother had her when she was a teenager and sent her to Soweto as a baby to live with her grandmother. I never knew the parents' love. I only knew Granny's love. And she always tell me one thing. School is the best medicine in your life. If you can finish with school, you can see how bright your future is. Her grandmother's home is busy. There are 18 people and 10 cats sharing this space. <laughs> Fanele lives in a tiny room and shares a bed with her granny, who works at the local crash in Cliptown. She is the main breadwinner in the family. Although the house is crowded, they all look out for each other and share the little they have. Fanele's life is about to change forever. She met a boy at a party and they had a sexual relationship for a while. Will Fanele still be able to reach for her dreams now that she's about to become a teenage mother? Me now my life is messed up. And I was like, no, me now my life is messed up. And I'm dreaming so big. Like, you know me, I want to be a celebrity. And I'll be one. One of my closest friends is Hazel. She is older than me and has supported me ever since I told her I'm pregnant. Are you saying you didn't use the condom? Yes, girl, that's what I'm trying to say. We didn't use the condom. It was it that day you got pregnant? No, it's not that day. Okay. It was maybe the fourth time. Mm. Yeah. I called him mm. and I told him that, oh, it, I missed my period. So what are you thinking? Mm. Mithi, Mina, I think I'm pregnant. I don't know you're not. Mm. I was so shocked. Like. And you didn't know what yeah, to do? Yeah, I, I didn't know what to do at the time. And I don't want to lie to you guys. My first oh. option was abortion. Mm. It's for the sake of my life, you know, like, I was thinking, yo, my granny, yo, what I'm going to say to my granny if she finds out that I'm pregnant? So what's going to happen with me? Okay, like, my friends were like, no, show me. Uh, please, 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 show me, please. Don't do it. Don't do we, We're going to be supportive in everything you do. So what are you planning? I'm planning to raise a baby on my own. Back in Rockville, Tato's friends are telling her that she's being naive when it comes to the baby daddy. He's not matured. He needs to grow up. Yes. Tato's father is also visiting. He is hearing for the first time how his daughter has been treated by Muketi. You don't put your foot down. Mm. Yeah. That's a problem. When you say Tato does Tato, Tato does it to jump. Mm. When I as a mother, you must tell the person, you know, you are the daddy. All I want to support the baby. And the thing that pisses me off is that he gives Tato false hope. That there's a relationship between them, knowing that there's none. There's no love, there's nothing there. Mm. That's the thing that pisses me off the most. 
support support other girls, but not you. I don't know why. I don't know. It hurts, but I don't know what to do or tell him anymore. Please, get the fever. Get to cover my pillow. We have a problem, and so we. Moketi arrives unexpectedly, and Tato's dad has many questions for him. Believe So every day, and from day one, we were marked. So, our first door, rating. Maybe we. I get it. We will come see it. Like, as I. Like, at the moment, we were so shy, then we, I'm still working on that. Uh, okay, my man. And then my man. 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 Chopin, <laughs> Don't worry, everything will be fine. <laughs> happening between our families and your crazy dad, but I'll try to be there for the baby. I'm so upset. I can't even talk. Being alone with Mkiti feels very awkward. So you give me a call, eh? on 16 and pregnant. Knock, knock. Will Tato be able to resolve the conflict between her dad and the baby daddy? No, get them out of time. Simple. Tato is on her way to see her dad to talk to him about the fight. You need to come down so that everything can be fine. Right? The fight between my father and Kitty broke my heart. Knock, knock. How are you? And I want to tell my dad about my concerns. I would like you and Kitty to stop fighting because the baby is coming now. And um, you know that Nkiti will won't, he won't want to come here to see the baby mm. because he'll be scared of you. Mm. I know it's not easy. Just give me your hand. Mm. I know it's not easy. Mm. You, you, you've got problems and you've got issues regarding Nkiti. But please, for the sake of our baby. Yes, Nkiti has not right. I have no problem. Okay. Yeah. Because I want to So, I want to the power so run tell so no no you are misunderstanding like no get them out time simple mm. so kelly i can't get this girl okay yeah, this is my girl <laughs> but next there is there is girl yeah there is girl issue yeah okay mm. i don't know how, for how long 
Okay. Yeah, engine. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I love my dad and he's right. Nketa needs to keep his promise and be a supportive baby daddy. Nketa promised to support me financially and emotionally. not expect this surprise baby shower. with my friends and family is just what I needed after all the sadness of the past few weeks. Back in Kalanen, Nklantla's mother has come for a visit. Her mother is the only person in her family who knows her HIV status. Mm. I like the fact that I was able to tell you everything that mm. happened in my life. About your situation and your status. I accept you the, the way you are. I pray that this, this, this must be the baby that not crying so much. I, I don't like <laughs> crying babies. <laughs> So when the child when is born, then maybe I'll have to look for his stepfather or something. Hey! <laughs> Ooh! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, <laughs> Mama. So soon, <laughs> stepfather. What are you doing? Irene from the organization Mothers to Mothers is visiting me at home. Are you still taking your treatment though? I, I am. I even set an alarm for me so that it reminds me every time. Mothers to Mothers support women like me who are HIV positive. As you can see here, this is your CD4 count, which means the virus in the body is suppressed. This makes you to be able to breastfeed your baby, but you're gonna breastfeed your baby exclusively. I'm talking about giving your baby only breast milk. Not mixed with it. Yes, you've got it, you've got I've read it. I've the book that you gave The one that we gave you. Ah, yeah. oh, I can see that you are learning. <laughs> I want to be a responsible mother and do everything I can to prevent my baby from getting HIV. Oh. <laughs> I've been seeing what I've seen every day In the street every day Now we on the road, now we on the road We don't women like this way I'm writing my end year exam this week Granny put on my school shoes as my belly is too big. I need it. Then you can go in time. I love learning. I want to complete school so I can realize my dream of becoming a vet. In Club Town, Fanela is going to the local clinic for a sonar scan. My granny gave me money to pay for this doctor's visit. Are you using cash or medical aid? Cash. I am nervous, as I will find out today whether my baby is healthy. I'm 
that's fine. Okay, so this year, this is the spine area here. You can see the baby's heart. She's beating there. We'll see a more clearer picture from the side. It looks like a female, like a girl. Okay, congratulations. Looks like a female. Okay, so we can't be 100% sure because the foot of the baby is lying in the way there. Okay, it's for now, it's fine. All right, so everything is 100% fine. No sign of any problem. I am now weeks away from giving birth. Once my baby is born, she will be my priority. She will have to live with me here in Cape Town until I finish school. I was also hoping for a girl because I never had that love of the mother. So I wanted her to grow up in a different way, in a different manner. We don't have proper living. At Cape Town, we have a lot of high rate of teenage pregnancy and drugs and unemployment and uneducated people. It's not easy living here. Sharing a house with so many is challenging. The environment on our street is not safe or healthy. We have public toilets that everyone has to share. My hope is that after I finish school, I will be able to provide a better life for my child. Coming up, how will the teenage girls deal with the birth of their babies? That is not so bad. No? Yeah? Please don't say that. In Kalinan, Ntlantla is studying for exams with her best friend, Yolanda. This one, like, the what blood vessels it? getting deoxygenated but away from the heart. Is <laughs> the, is the um, pulmonary artery. Mm -mm. The pulmonary artery, I'll show you. But, uh, it, 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 no, 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 let me show you. Pulmonary artery. Yeah. You see? Away from the blood that Away gives from... them. Yes. Stop, stop. <laughs> so D is the antenna. Yolanda is like a sister to me. She was the first person I told that I'm pregnant. Yo, I find it very hard waking up in the morning. Yo, going to school. Going to school. And our English teacher just said, are you pregnant? I was like, <sighs> yes, I am. But I heard your news. I heard everything. At you, I'm so disappointed. Same. Yesterday she said, Yo, go home. Yeah, you'll give birth here. No matter. Mm. I felt so embarrassed, but then I just ignored it. I, I just pretended as if I didn't hear anything. But then, like, obviously, yes. You're emotional because like every time I too much that Yeah, it was. But then I have to accept that I am pregnant and I can't change this. It... But anyway, I didn't lose anything. I'm still studying the way I was. I even improved my marks. So it didn't change anything. Today, I'm going to Mamilodi Hospital to see a doctor for my final checkup before giving birth. You are 38 weeks, five days, isn't it? Technically, most women go in labor from now. Labor should start on its own. Did they tell you the sex of the baby? Or is it a surprise? They said it's a boy. boy. It is a boy. There. That's the machine gun part, isn't it? <laughs> Baby is growing well, I'm happy. Okay. I wanted to know if ever it is safe for the baby because I'm HIV positive to give birth 
in season. In cesarean section. Yes, because you're already on treatment, isn't it? Yes. Uh, the uh, antiretroviral drugs. So what they do, they have to suppress the viral load. So the Caesar, the procedure itself, is safe for you and the baby from you from the baby not contracting the virus. Okay, thank you. And Tlantla is relieved that the doctor says her baby looks healthy. She has done everything the right way to make sure her baby will be born free of HIV. In Soweto, Tato's mother is taking her to see a doctor for a checkup on her and her baby's health. Where's Dick? Uh, he's not around. He's not around. Mm -hmm. No, he's a naughty boy, eh? Huh? Kevin introduced himself, now he's making you a vending machine, eh? Huh? <laughs> okay, let's just start now and let's see what happens now. Okay. Now what we'd like trying to look for now is the baby's heart. You can see it there. All right. Can see. Yes. Are you excited, Tata? Yes, I am. Or scared? <laughs> Both. Both. Yes. A little bit of anxiety. Yeah? Okay. okay. And let's just print it out. You can take these home. And I'm quite comfortable. You have a single baby, it's a very healthy pregnancy, and I don't see any issues at all. So you should actually be looking forward to it. The doctor has confirmed that it will be safer for Tato to give birth by cesarean section because her body is not yet fully developed for natural birth. In Soweto, it's early morning and Tato is getting ready to leave for her scheduled cesarean at Chabulani Hospital. Instead of being nervous or excited about the day ahead, Tato is upset that the baby daddy has still not made any contact. I'm angry with Nikit because he knew that my due date but he didn't even bother to come and check how was I. Get it to be there when I was giving birth because I was still angry at him. In Clip Town, it is the middle of the night and Fanella's contractions have started unexpectedly. It's dark and I'm scared and in so much pain. Getting a taxi at this hour is nearly impossible. So my family has organized a taxi for me. Hazel has offered to come with me to hospital. I don't know what I would do without Hazel by my side. struggle to walk and the pain is unexplainable. Vanilla has been in labor for more than 10 hours. There are complications with the birth, but the doctors are doing everything they can to help her. It's the early hours of the morning, 
and exhausted Hazel decides to leave the hospital, not knowing what will happen. In Kalanen, Ntlantla's big day has finally arrived. Her mother is taking her to the hospital for her scheduled caesarean. Waiting for this day. God, I am told you that I'm done. And Tlantla has given birth to a healthy baby boy called Tanloami. Her baby has been tested and he is HIV negative. However, he will need further tests over the next 18 months. Congratulations, Sagat. Zomlalisa na ye, like every day. Okay, congrats. But it's not so bad. No? Yeah? Please don't say that. <laughs> Coming up. Life changes dramatically as all the teenagers become young mothers. Hello. Do my love a tidy? Three teenagers gave birth by caesarean section, but Fenella had to have an emergency procedure. She has returned to Cliptown with her baby, Sepiwe Gutle. The doctor told me I was going to have a girl, but to my surprise, it's a boy, and his name is Piwe Gutle, which means gift. I thought in the trauma I went through, I never thought he will ever make it. But seeing him moving and breathing and crying, it was a joyful moment for me. It was so incredible. I couldn't believe it. But yo, I was so happy that he made it. Yeah. This is my new life. Yo, it was like loving the first time. I felt so happy. And I also thought this is the only thing I have to live for in life. Bless you. Back in Rockville, Tato has returned home with her baby girl named Litabo. Mm. Hello, my baby. How was your day today? Please, Grady. Is that all? Should be all right. I knew my mother would be a very mm. loving and supportive granny. Yes, a little bit. What time is it? Yeah, let's go. I'm a mother now, but somehow my mother has not stopped pushing me around. He put me in the water, the cranine. Why are you so scared of water? 
good today so that she can sleep. <sighs> I would like my child to have a relationship with both her parents. Nkete broke my heart, but I still hope that he will not be absent from Litabo's life. Next time I fall in love, I want to be responsible and use protection when I have sex. In Kalanen, Ntlantla is excited about the day ahead of her. It's her first day back at school. I'm very lucky that I'm able to return to school as my granny has agreed to look after my son. It's early morning in Cliptown and everyone's getting ready for school. Vanilla's baby will be staying with her granny at the local creche where she works. <laughs> My baby and I have never been apart, but I understand that education is important if I want to find work and be able to give him a better future. My teenage pregnancy was not something I planned, but it has given me something to live for. In the future, I plan to use birth control and practice safe sex. Ntlantla has finished her first day back at school. Her friend Yolanda has come home with her to meet baby Tanlo Wami for the first time. Oh, I can't live without my child. Even when I'm at school, yo, I like, I miss him so, yo, a lot, I miss him. I feel special, very special, and I appreciate each and every support that everyone gives you, including you, you know, you have supported me, yo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I'm one of those lucky girls, like my name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, na 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 na. 
Okay, 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 okay. Na, 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 yeah. It's a new life that I'm living. I'm seeing myself as a businesswoman, as this famous woman, as this celebrity woman. I see myself as an independent woman. Not dependent, independent woman. This wonderful woman that I wanted to be when growing up, I don't want that to fail. I want to work for my son. I see me and my son having a great future in life. Since Litaba was born, Mkiti comes every two weeks to see her. And when I call Mkiti and tell him that Litaba doesn't have a milk or nappy, he makes sure that he brings them in time. So Mkiti does support Litaba. 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 Being 16 and pregnant changed my life. I love Litawo. It's a blessing from God and I love her so much. My relationship with Mkedi now, it's complicated, but I'm glad that he supports Litawo and he's there for Litawo. Ntanta is attending a nearby support group for mothers living with HIV. I'm very proud that my baby boy is HIV negative. The support and guidance from mothers to mothers is really helping me to manage living with HIV. It was hard for me to accept that I'm young, I'm pregnant, and I'm HIV positive. I've really gained so much knowledge about life, and me and my baby, after everything that I've learned, I think life is gonna be okay. As I'm HIV positive, it's my responsibility to practice safe sex, to protect my future partners. If you have been affected by any of the issues raised in the show, please call 0860 995 085. Terms and conditions apply. Go to mtvsugar.com for more information.